the substance of God, let's start with a word of prayer. Jesus, we thank you for giving us another opportunity to come to you. Forgive us of our sins. Open our eyes, our minds, our ears, and our hearts to hear and understand your already blessed words. In Jesus' name, amen. Let us start by reading Romans 3, verse 21 to 26. And it says, But now the righteousness of God has been manifested apart from the law, although the law and the prophets bear witness to it. The righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe, for there is no distinction, for all have sins and fall short of the glory of God, and are justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Jesus Christ, whom God put forward as a propitiation by his blood to be received by faith. This was to show God's righteousness because in his divine forbearance, he had passed over former sins. It was to show his righteousness at the present time so that he might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus. The forgiveness of our sins implied two phases in Jesus' mediation in the heavenly sanctuary. First, Jesus removed our sins and carried them himself on the cross to provide forgiveness to everyone who believes in him. A second phase in Jesus' ministry consists of a judgment. The book of Daniel and the book of Revelation says that this judgment begins with God's people. And the purpose is to show the righteousness of God in forgiving his people. Speaking of this judgment, Sister White says, Men cannot meet these charges himself, and his sin-stained garments confessing his guilt, he stands before God. But Jesus, our advocate, presents an effectual plea in behalf of all who, by repentance and faith, have committed the keeping of their souls to him. He pleads their cause and vanquishes their accusers by the mighty arguing of Calvary. His perfect obedience to God's law, even upon the death of the cross, has given him all power in heaven and in earth, and he claims of his Father's mercy in reconciliation for guilty men. But while we should realize our sinful conditions, we are to rely upon Christ as our righteousness our sanctification and our redemption. We cannot answer the charges of Satan against us. Christ alone can make an effectual plea in our behalf. He is able to silence the accuser with argument founded not upon our merit, but on his own. Brother and sister, in shorter terms, we cannot stand in front of God to ask for the forgiveness of our sins. We need Jesus. Are we all happy that we have Jesus to stand as our advocate? Let us always remember that Jesus is here waiting to hear from us. So let us stay in constant communication with him and help us always remember that he is here, ready to hear us and to forgive us. Be blessed.